guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i'm in my car this morning i'm headed to some shops and i thought i would keep my eyes peeled for any kind of seasonal bits as always when i go shopping let's be real um but i'm really excited because my first stop for the day is at a brand new home sense store which is in ultram if you're local to the area it is just behind me over there there's a huge queue outside because it is the opening today i've actually been invited down by a home sense but it's open to the public so it's not like an uh, influencer event or anything it's just saying welcome there's a new store come on down and i'm saying yes please i'm gonna be there really excited to go in and have a good rummage a good browse and then i do need to get some foodie bits so i was thinking of going to not too far from here there's a sainsbury's and an m and i don't know whether to do one both We'll see where the day takes, as I might end up going into both, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so first stop is Home Sense. If you haven't already, make sure you grab a coffee. I actually haven't had a chance to grab a coffee this morning. I'm feeling like I need one. So as soon as we're done with Home Sense, I think, yeah, I think I need a coffee. I think I just need a, that first sip of morning coffee. I'm just lacking. I feel like I'm missing, missing that flavour. So anyway, let's go shopping. Ooh so excited and let's go see what the new home sense store has in store literally whirlwind trip that was <laughs> it was um really good actually excuse the sheet here i've just got a new boot cover for this car but beforehand i just had the sheet over to protect the boot from a mucky path um i'm just coming into um the mcdonald's drive through because i need to grab that coffee that i mentioned and also i thought i'd debrief on the new store which is fab by the way thanks hi can see you today hi i've got a code sq14 just to the first tender for me, sir. Thanks. I also got a free chicken nuggets. Oh my god, they're called chicken McNuggets. Did you know that? Chicken nuggets. Um, or double cheeseburger. But not today. I'm not hungry enough for that yet. Um, yeah, coffee is needed. Let me see where the m is. Because I feel like I need to pop in a postcode. I don't really know my way around Altrium, yeah, I know Altrium, but I didn't, I've never, I don't think I've ever been to this retail park before, it's got B&M, the range, pets at home, that kind of a retail park, there is a TK Maxx actually, do I pop in to TK Maxx as well, decisions, decisions, yeah, so I'm, the reason why I want to go to like M&S and Sainsbury's, they've got loads of seasonal foodie bits especially, that I thought I would try out, see what they've got in and m and always do great like halloween chocolates and stuff so 
Um, I'm gonna go there, but I also want to have a quick look at the fashion in Marks and Spencers because I feel like I could do with some new cozy jumpers. Um, I've got a couple of coats already. I'm not lacking on the coat front, but I am lacking on the jumpers front. I've got a couple of cardigans, got plenty of hoodies and sweatshirts, but nice cozy knit jumpers I'm definitely in need of. So I'm gonna see what they've got. But yeah, oh my god. So firstly, it was like the opening of the store and I got there for opening, so there was a big queue, but as soon as it hit 10 a.m. we all went straight in. Hi, thank you. So there's that, but also I bumped into an old friend who I've literally not seen since I was maybe 15 maybe even younger than that so it was so random to see her but so good so good to catch up I didn't realize that she works for home sense so um she came up from London for the store opening and there were loads of like big bosses there today so it's a big now deal the roundabout and take the first where exit. am I going here I need to go right um and then I also bumped into a couple of familiar faces in um, the YouTubing community. So yeah, it was just a good event. Well, it wasn't really an event, it was just a store opening. And I did pick up a couple of things, so I'll show you those when I get back home. Um, oh, I'm just passing the range B&M and it's taking all the willpower not to go in. Do I just pop in? The only thing I will say with it being a store opening was that it was very busy, so it was quite hard to get loads of vlog footage, which I'll um, have to just left to stay on George Richards Way. Pay them another visit. So anyway, I'm gonna sip on my coffee en route to M&S, and I'll see you guys when I get there. Before I head over to M&S, I have just popped into Next and just have a quick look. I didn't realise there's their sale on, so it's pretty busy in terms of sale stuff. Not so many new autumn bits, but. I saw this, £36, it was on the sale rail, but I can't see a reduced price, but I thought this is like a transitional dress, there's only one and it's a size 18, so it's probably not going to fit me, but I might ask if they've got another size of this, because I love the fabric, it's hard to see under this light, but it's like a linen. And then I've also picked up this cardigan, it's like an open waterfall style in a medium at £36. And then just a basic v-neck jumper at 22 Like I'm always in need of some new vest tops, so I got this black one, it's like a thick ribbed knit, it's lovely. And then also that beautiful like terracotta colour I thought would be nice for this time of the year. And then a very seasonal blazer, this one with this gorgeous check print, I've not got anything like this one so £60 is quite like well made so I'm going to try that on it's quite thick as well so I feel like that will keep me nice and warm but yeah let's do a bit of trying on shall we before I do just today's little outfit of the day Zara blazer um, basic white tee from H&M and then these jeans are Primark belt is H&M shoes are Veja my Chanel crossbody and that's me so this is what the check blazer looks like. It's in a size 12 and it's actually already quite oversized. So I might even be better with a size 10, although, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's longer than I thought it was gonna be this one. Um, it feels more of a coat than a blazer. So I'm not 100% sold on it. So this is the V-neck jumper. I feel like it's just a good little basic, this one. It's the only size they had and it is a couple of sizes too big. So I am gonna leave it just because I do feel like um, it is already quite oversized, so I'm not convinced on this top. I'm actually going to leave it. I don't really like the fit of it. It's quite um, baggy here, and if I pull it down, it's really long, which I just don't think I'll wear this. Um, the vest, vest, cardigan, however, I do really, really like. I've just kind of pulled the sleeves up slightly, but they are also nice and long, so I feel like it's going to be one of those items that it's quite cosy. This is definitely my favourite so far, £36 this one. I think I've decided this wide vest shape on me isn't the best and I'm after more like thinner straps, well, not like thin thin but like that thick, whereas that is quite like boxy and well, I don't know if it's the most flattering. quite like this side slit and again the fact that it's longer at the back and I do love that rich burnt orange colour. Nor the fact that I'm doing the try on cheat by leaving on my jeans. It's starting to get really cold now so I don't know if I'm going to get the wear out of this. Anyway I'm going to have a quick look around the home section because I have spotted some kind of festive bits, seasonal bits and then we'll have a quick look in M&S as well. Radio's 
I have brought quite a selection into the changing rooms at M&S. So, um, again, lots of coziness, which is what we need for this season. This coat, I loved this coat. I actually thought £65 for a coat like this was really good value. So, it's kind of a mushroomy, khaki colour with the tortoiseshell buttons. And then we've got a half zip there, a couple of cozy knits, a knit vest and then a half zip top there as well. So let's get trying on. This is a good set I'll find. I'm just hoping that, in fact, I might start with this one because I feel like I'm unsure on the three quarter length sleeves. I'm honestly so undecided on this one. I just don't know. I think because I've never tried anything like this before with the sleeves like that, I can't decide if I like it or not. But I do quite like the fact that it kind of cinches up like so and you can always tuck it in because it is a bit shorter in length. They did only have an extra large, so it's a little bit boxy on me. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm 50-50 with this one on whether or not to keep it. I love the um, fabric of it. You know, sometimes with knits, they can get a bit scratchy and a bit itchy. This one is really soft and I just know it's so comfy that I will wear it a lot. I feel very tonal in this outfit, very autumn appropriate. This coat is nice, however, I do have a however. I feel like it's better for winter because it's very heavy. Um, feels quite weighty like wearing it. Apart from that, love it, love the colour. I'll try and leave this linked um, along with these other bits that I try on for you just for ease if you wanted to. Um, I have a browse on their website. Okay, this is the half zip top. I love the colour of this. It's kind of like a washed green, which I don't know why, but rather than like a stark bold colour, the fact that when a colour looks a bit washed, a bit aged, I much prefer that. I do have something very similar to this already from Abercrombie, so I'm not going to pick it up, but I had to show it to you just because um, I live in that Abercrombie one and this is a great alternative. It's only £29. So I definitely wouldn't wear this one with these jeans because it's a bit too like, a bit too beige, even for me. Um, I just don't think I'd wear this because of the high neck. It's one of those knits that like I was saying to you earlier, it might get a little bit a little bit scratchy. It's a nice fit and everything. I like the little slit at the bottom. See, although this one is high neck as well, it's a much softer fabric, so I definitely would wear this one because it's not scratchy at all. Um, the only thing is I've noticed there's quite a bit of makeup on it and there's pulls here on the shoulder. So I'm gonna see if they've got another one in my size. Um, and yeah, I might be tempted for this one. It's only 29 pounds as well. And I feel like this is a good staple cozy knit jumper with this cable knit design um yeah i really like it but not a fan of the pulls and these so we'll have to see if we've got another one okay this knit vest is so cozy and so nice it's 29.50 this one's in a medium i feel like that needs to be shaped a little bit better um yeah this one is a lovely fabric it's not scratchy at all you've got the option to zip it up if you want to i quite like it undone and open like that but um yeah vest is always a good option for um this time of the year especially you know if you know house is nice and cozy but you want to be cozy still to go for a vest and have your arms out it's just a little bit a little bit more comfortable love it don't need it that's my dilemma with this one decisions decisions this one reminded me of one that i'd maybe see in somewhere like white company i just feel like this is a white company style jumper it's quite long and it's got the slit as well so if you want to wear with jeans fine but i think i would wear with leggings um and also the holes in it are quite big so you can see my bra that's not ideal it's like it's because it's a thinner finish um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave this one, but this one is also a softer fabric that isn't itchy. So probably the only one to avoid in terms of if you get a bit sensitive skin is probably that one. But I still like that. It's just, I'm extra picky when it comes to sensitivity because I can get, I can like flare up. Um, but anyway, that's that. I'm going to go have a look, see what other fashion bits they've got. Homeware is always my fave in M&S. And of course, we're ending on the snacks because... We are in M&S after all, and it's not just any food, it's M&S food.
is my baby. Anybody home? What are you doing upstairs? What are you doing? Hey, gorgeous boy. Did you have a nice day with daddy? Have you been upstairs? I've got treats for everybody today. This is treats for mummy. Got some golden blonde chocolate little moons. Finally got my hands on these. I'm gonna pop these straight in the freezer. Treats for daddy, because he's not feeling so good. And then treats for Barney. What's this? Ghoulish ghost cookies. I've also got you some beastly beefiers. How does that sound? How cute is this little guy? Both paws. Yay! Good boy. There you go. I feel like I need to sneeze. Oof. First things first, just got back home. Before I do anything else, it's comfies on because I don't know about you, but I can't chill out in a blazer and jeans in the house. I am going to show you everything I picked up, but I actually need to make the bed as well because I got up before Tom this morning, which if that ever happens, I'm coming home to an unmade bed. It's honestly like he's allergic to making the bed. Anyone else have partners that are allergic to making the beds like I seem to have? But yeah, Tom's not been feeling so great, so he... Uh, he um, got up after me, he had a bit of a light in this morning. It's so annoying because he his alarm still went off at half six and if an alarm goes off, then that's me up. I just can't go back to sleep. I think we're gonna have fish and chips or tea tonight, which is very exciting. It's been a while, but we're feeling chippy tea. So that's on the agenda. There's something about an unmade bed that makes my whole life feel unorganized. I cannot get into bed, into an unmade bed, without feeling like, I don't know, like I'm ill, maybe? So anyway, this is a very loosely made bed. That's all I need to do though, is just have the sheets and everything put back in their place. Once that's done, Relax. Yeah, I need to for sure get into some comfies as well. I'm feeling like considering we're not going out again, or in fact, I will probably need to walk the dog at some point. I'll just put on some cozy leggings. These Abercrombie ones are so comfortable. Let's see if I've got, no, let me go grab a sweatshirt. From the other room, take my blazer whilst I go. And then it's full time. Tom is on a work call, so you might be able to hear him, so I'm best, best off shutting the door. Anyway, now I'm in my official at-home uniform. It's time to show you some bits. Oh my God, guys, how cute is this? I bought this for some friends who just had a baby. Ooh. I'd love to buy loads of baby stuff. But I need a baby in my belly. All friends that have got babies, so I got them a little um, card to go with that. I did get home to a couple of parcels as well, actually. I ordered these for that aperture frame thing that I got from Wilco's that I did as a bit of a autumn decor DIY. I got, oh my God. I got loads of black and white images for that, which I'm gonna pop, like some just random ones. This is from New Year's Eve. Um, I'm gonna put these. Oh, this is his first ever walk. Oh my goodness. First ever walk and I'm carrying him. This is us at Dan and Massey. We've got loads, but yeah, I thought I would do a little Barney shrine, essentially. No, just pop those images in that frame and have it above the dog wash. So yeah, I bought them for that. And then I also got home to this parcel, which, oh, and this brochure. How nice is that? A little flick through garden trading brochure um, with all the, Inspo for autumn. I got this package from a PR company. And I feel like I might as well share. I didn't know these were coming. I've not selected these. These are just screaming my name, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This box and everything, white forest. Inspired by Sweden's volatile seasons and the uniqueness of our nature, this is Bjorkenberries.com, and they have sent 
this candle with a melodramatic scent of wood and fresh air with notes of sweet bergamot, intoxicating tonka beans and earthy vetiver inspired by mysterious birch forest in the north of Sweden. Although I'm not gonna lie, it sounds like it's smashed. Oh my God. This smells incredible. Wow. That scent is me. I'm not gonna lie, that is my favorite scent I've had in a candle for a very, very long time. Yeah, it's smashed. It's just got the branding on the front, York and Berries, and then that is the actual candle. Oh guys, I'm gutted, because that smells incredible. What a shame. Okay, they have also sent me though, this from a man. Again, a nourishing candle, this one. We love a candle here on this channel, especially at this time of the year. I seem to burn through candles so quickly. I'm not precious with my candles. I used to be, but I think because I buy that many now, I just light them and actually enjoy them. Although I say that, I have got some white company ones that I've not lit. But I am way better than I used to be. I do like to burn through them now. Oh gosh, how luxe is this box? Really nice. Oh, okay. This is like a man's fragrance. And the actual candle, the wax is black as well. Very sleek. Oh, very fancy. Feels like luxury. That glass jar in itself is like that thick. And then I have got this scent from Bjork and Berries, thankfully, in a eau de parfum. So if it's anything like the candle, I never thought to have that kind of a fragrance as a eau de parfum though, but let's give it a whiff because if it's anything like that candle, I am putting on every single day. Oh, yes, it's like the candle, but much lighter. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Thank you. <coughs> oh, I've just eaten some. <laughs> Have you tasted perfume? It's not good, it's not good. Um, speaking of candles, let's show you the bits that I got from Home Goods now because I got a fair few. Well, I got two candles. That's not a fair few, is it? That's not too bad at all. The two candles that I picked up on this occasion are both the same, actually. They're both sand and fog. They're just in different scents. And they've both got these wooden lids. How nice do they look? So this one I'm gonna burn first. This is in the scent Falling Leaves. And then this one is my favorite of the scents, but I'm gonna save this one for Christmas time. And then I got this lovely wreath. I, I remember seeing something like this last year and I didn't get it, but I decided to get it on this occasion. It's only 9 99 and it's basically like preserved limes and oranges. You could probably do a DIY of this. Having said that, I think 9.99 is a pretty good price for it anyway. I thought that'd be quite a nice base for um, if I've got like a plate for the botanical candles from the White Company to have that kind of surrounding the plate. And obviously um, it's good for autumn, but it would be good in winter as well. And then I've got a couple more of these e-cloths. I see these quite often in TK Maxx. They're like half the price of what they usually are. And this is the one that I like in particular because it's the shower cleaning cloth. So you've got one basically like a microfiber dust cloth and then you've got one that are like the minky glass cloth so good for mirrors as well and good for anything glass basically and then last but not least i got two coffee table books the first one i already have this one but i love it so much i picked up another i thought this would make a good gift it's called the this is home book the art of simple living by natalie walton 19.99 paid for that and then the last book that i got this is lovely this is called hair and Klein interior by meryl hair and i really like the fact that this book has black paper well a black edging to the paper anyway super inspirational for interiors with us renovating at the minute anything interiors inspires me but very much my um neutral palette and it's just gorgeous retails for 35 pounds and it was in tk maxx for 27.99 not so much of a bargain but a nice book nonetheless it's still a saving now in terms of the supermarket goodies i'm gonna say the champion of the 
seasonal savoury bits was Sainsbury's, which I didn't actually vlog in. Um, I got loads of yummy food and they've got all their Christmas stuff, as have M&S as well, by the way. But I just feel like I want to prolong the autumn season for as long as possible and we can get into Christmas once Halloween is done. Um, but until then, autumn's my favourite season, so I'm going to prolong it for as long as possible. And M&S is the champion of the sweet the seasonal sweet finds but i'll start with the savory okay <laughs> i said i'll start with the savory i'll start with sainsbury's this is actually a sweet find i think it's the only one i got though winter berry crumble this is their autumn edition finished with lightly spiced flapjack topping yum and then also i got from there the quattro cheese bake amazing I did also get a mini baking camembert. This is the, they're all the autumn edition range from Taste the Difference basically. Black truffle and acacia honey with that one. And then I got the butternut and pumpkin quiche. I'm not quite sure why this is an autumn edition, but because it said autumn edition, I bought it anyway. It's a, it's a chicken Kiev bake in a roasted garlic parsley sauce with rosemary potatoes, parsley breadcrumbs. I mean, it looks good anyway. Oh, I got a miniature cheddar bake with garlic, herb, and black pepper. They had loads more, by the way. This is just, I'm gonna say, 20% of the range, maybe even less than that. And then also, I got one of the dips. I was gonna go for the truffle one. However, oh, can you see it sliding around in there? However, I think I'll actually prefer this one. This is the roasted garlic dip with sage and chili. And then last but not least, I saw this, which I'm gonna have now, actually, from Starbucks, their new golden toffee honeycomb limited edition flavor let's give it a try mm. the only problem with these i could literally down that so quickly i love them when we lived in america my mom if you're watching you'll know you'll remember i was obsessed with getting these from the supermarket just the plain ones though obviously this is a new one the toffee honeycomb but just the plain and the mocha ones so good anyway i'm gonna pop these back in the fridge and then um come show you the other bits from sainsbury's that i got and the m and bits too i need to figure out the setting on this camera because that to me looks very blue i feel like that one's a bit better the sun is just starting to set. Okay, what else do we have? A couple more bits from Sainsbury's. Spiced pumpkin soup. I got this stuffing mix. They had loads of different stuffing mixes. Some Christmassy ones as well, but roasted chestnut, toasted hazelnut, and thyme stuffing. And then I got some vanilla extract. I'm going to do a bit of a simmer pot downstairs in a sec. By popping vanilla in it, it just makes the house smell amazing. So I've got them. I also got this in the baking section, which I thought would be good to keep for any future kind of baking if it'll focus two edible gold leaf sheets the, these were like reduced in the clearance as well so i picked them up got some coffee cinnamon dolce latte from starbucks and then i also got their toffee nut latte flavor they had these last year they're in a different packaging but got them and then i also got the holiday blend of the pods for our coffee machine and also the holly blend holly blend holiday blend um, roast beans coffee beans herbal and sweet with maple notes sounds amazing Sainsbury's home is in my opinion the best of the homeware sections of all the supermarkets it's not necessarily cheap but it's just it's um just good whoever designs their products i'm a fan so i got a couple of their festive new editions of the frosted cedar scents got some scented potpourri and they had the christmas i think it's called christmas spice and that scent was lovely and i was very tempted for that potpourri the potpourri was very gold though this one is just white white and brown and then i also got the frosted cedar tea lights and obviously you know how much i go on about like pine and that kind of scent so frosted cedar would be my preference anyway. And then again in the frosted cedar, I picked up this little oil, fragrance oil for my oil diffuser. So that's everything that I got from Sainsbury's. M&S now for all of the, I'm gonna say Halloween treats because it's not even autumn like 
Sainsbury says it's very much Halloween. So I got these savory vampire fangs basically cheesy what sets i think i'm gonna love this i'm gonna try one now cookies and scream these are frightful bites with biscuit pieces smothered in screamy white milk chocolate and i love white chocolate as well mm. that's what it looks like inside if you've tried their cookie dough bites before they're basically just like this but not covered in white chocolate i got one of their bubbly boos it was 65p for the bubbly boo they had the santa ones and i think the santa ones were 95p and it's literally the same thing just in a different shape and then i've got these ones as well these are zombles which i've never had from mns before i know they do the regular ones but these are zombles chalky chums with a hint of toffee flavor a yummy mummy colin the caterpillar for halloween edition i got some mini gingerbread biscuits i like popping these on top of like a hot chocolate or a gingerbread latte if you put some squirty cream and just put one of those on like they do in costa then i also got one of their spiced apple um boxes of tea bags i thought maybe in a vlog we could bake some cinnamon buns and this cinnamon bun dough mix basically contains everything you need apart from egg butter and milk so it's kind of like an easier version and i'm just gonna slather on the frosting on top because that little drizzle there it's not enough for me so we can do some baking maybe in a vlog soon got some 10 pound kitchen rolls i needed them they weren't actually 10 pounds this is my sarcastic sense of humor last thing for the food section i think i've hit the jackpot with this one if you like the kinder bueno filling I feel like this is going to be a close comparison. Local cookie place near to us do Kinder Bueno cookies, or brookies they're called, and in the middle there's a massive chunk of this kind of spread. And a few of you have said to keep my eyes peeled for it in Morrison's, because apparently they do one as well. Wow, I've got so many treats here. I feel like this is going to last us until next week. <laughs> should last us until halloween at least i also got this signature scent the wild mint and thyme room and linen spray these were in the sale so I grabbed myself a little bargain it was reduced from six pounds down to four and this smells lovely i feel like that would be great in a kitchen with the wild mint and thyme and then the last two items again were in the sale and they these are from the harvard range which are I don't know if they're targeted to men only, but they are definitely masculine scents. They've got the vetiver one, and oh, this is the vetiver one, sorry, what's the other one? They've got cedarwood. So I've got the vetiver bath soak, this was £5 down to four, and then this aftershave, which was reduced from £4 down to three. I thought this was a good size to just have on the go. You know, like, Tom could take it with him out and about, or I could throw it in my handbag battery just died but anyway i was just finishing on this one harvard fragrance aftershave at three pounds bug so that is everything hope you have enjoyed coming with me on my little shopping adventures i feel like it's time to feet up unwind oh in fact i'll grab that vanilla oh guys whenever i do a haul i literally film it create a mess and walk away from it because <laughs> i just can't deal with the cleanup straight away i have to like just go away do emails or something sat down admin wise and then i can come back to it later today mr barney boo sleeping in the sunshine you're having a little snooze oh i've got pins and needles in my foot oh right operation cleanup i've got loads of pots there I found something else that Tom is allergic to as well as making the bed. He somehow appears to be allergic to removing an empty cardboard from the kitchen roll and replacing it with another. Why is that? Why is that, Barney? Do you want this? We used to give these to Barney when he was a puppy so that he could destroy them. The breeder did as well, so I feel like he was used to it. And now he's like, anything cardboard? What is it? He's gone. And that's going to create even more mess for me to tidy up. Why do I do this to myself? Come here. 
someone acts like they've done wrong. I did give you it. It's okay. <laughs> it just means I have to clean it up now. <laughs> but you had a great time, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> my vlog yeah. oh please oh look we're tonal we're matching do you know what this reminds me of this right here look in the viewfinder what's that nickelodeon cartoon where the mom and dad's heads were always cut cow off? and chicken cow and chicken i think we're gonna go for oh, careful with his legs come on then let's go for a walk <laughs> evening stroll Hocus Pocus 2 is out. Have you seen it? Let me know. Smell right now in this kitchen with my little pumpkin wax melts and the simmer pot. Delicious. So that simmer pot you can basically, I mean I've just done apple, cinnamon, vanilla and pumpkin pie spice but you can just put whatever in it. Nutmeg. Oh, I'm just having a drink. And it honestly just fills the entire space with such an aroma. You could always, if you've got it kind of similar to mine drink it as well and just keep it on your slow cooker or simmer it and then turn it off that's what I do I just turn it off and it's making the house smell amazing kind of smells a bit Christmassy this scent I'm not gonna lie but that is gonna conclude today's vlog I hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me and let me know if you're a fan of these kind of vlogs because I love filming them and I'd love to do more of them for you. Thank you so much for spending the day with me, guys. It's been such a good day today, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up if you have, or commenting down below, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.